Father, uh, we thank you and we thank Shara and Tyler for inviting us here as their family and friends to share and celebrate their covenant and their commitment of love. We're here today to honor them as they are united in this sacred marriage relationship. And we pray this in your name, amen. that uh, Sharon and Tyler really care about each other. It's clear to me and Cook that they love being together. And we're very happy for Tyler and proud to have Sharon joining our family. And uh, don't forget, subscribe! <laughs> I just want to say I'm so thankful that you all are here. It's so cool to see my worlds collide. Uh, I've got my LA friends, I've got Shara's friends, I've got my family and her family. Um, and it's really great that we're able to do this. I know tomorrow's gonna to be a whirlwind, so it's cool to have this opportunity to just kind of take it in. Thank you to the Robesons for helping out with everything else tomorrow night. It's gonna be a real blast. so unbelievably in love with you. Today is our wedding day, the day we finally become husband and wife. I can hardly believe I get to walk down the aisle in just a few short hours and finally kiss you and become yours forever. Thank you for always loving me in a way I never knew I could be loved. I never imagined I would meet a man who challenged me to love others at such a deep level the way you do. You inspire me to be the best person I can be. I love your wit and your humor. I love your wisdom, I love your patience, I love your maturity, You're gonna freak. and best of all, I love you so much that we are going to be loving the dolphins tomorrow. Open your gift already, XOXO. Row seven, here we come. We're going to see the dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Oh my gosh. Thank you yeah, for loving my well. son the way you do. Well, he's definitely the man of my dreams. <laughs> A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Proverbs 16, 9. Shara, my bride, my beautiful, godly, incredible bride. When I think of our story, I can't help but rejoice in the truth of that verse. From the day we met, God has stepped in to direct our steps. Oh, how different things would be if I didn't submit to that little impulse to jump in right next to you as that photo was snapped. A simple, silly step that would lead me to the woman I would spend the rest of my life with. I'm so excited to be your husband. So let's enjoy every moment, grab my hand if I cry, and I hope you're ready for the most incredible day of your life. I love you more than I ever knew I could. I get to watch it. Oh, and one more thing. I hope you're ready for our overwater bungalow in the French Polynesians. We're going to Morea. I love you, babe. What? I hope you're ready for a week in an overwater bungalow in French Polynesia. We are going to Morea. You are so incredibly wonderful. I am in awe of all you have done to make this day the most memorable moment I have ever experienced.
remember the day I first laid my eyes on you. You were in a red shirt and dark jeans and had a leather jacket on in the middle of June. I remember thinking you were way too tall to be single and way too handsome to be godly. But boy, was I wrong. Over the last three years, I have learned so much about your heart and your character. Your love and commitment to God is so evident in the way that you have loved me. You are so many things I prayed so many years for. You love people, you love, and you love God. You're charming, funny, thoughtful, and kind. You're empathetic and patient. You're handsome and tall. <laughs> You're smart and still so humble. I promise to always put God first in our family and to always pursue a passionate relationship with Jesus. I promise to love you as you are and to always respect you as my husband. I promise to honor you and submit to your leadership for our family. And lastly, I promise to always be your sunshine. Forever I'm yours, forever I do. I can't say I knew this day would come from the first moment that we met, but I can say that I prayed this day would come from the first moment I heard you talk about your love for Jesus. The only thing more attractive than the beauty you've been blessed with is the way you've allowed God to shape your heart. You challenge me every single day to be the best man I can be. I promise to lean upon the Lord and the support of this community to love you without limits. I promise to pursue what is best over what is comfortable. I promise to seek humility and to surrender pride. From this day forward, I will be yours. And even though right now, it feels like you're my everything, I promise to remember that this marriage is not meant to replace God, but to honor Him. You are my sunshine. By my authority as a minister of the Lord Jesus Christ, I do now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, whom therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Tyler, you may kiss the bride. to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Stevens. This guy has got so much class. So we are very excited about you, Tyler. Thank you so much for taking our daughter and loving her. Let's raise a glass to Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Stevens. Healthy marriage, amen. I am honored to call you my brother. And I love you. And I'm excited to see all these people here to share it with you guys. I wish you guys the best. And Tyler, the Sox, last decision you'll ever make. <laughs> when I think back on so many of the years that shaped who I am, they are inextricably tied to you, Shara, and you are family. Your happiness is my happiness. So Tyler, I've seen her grow tremendously in the time that she's been dating you, and I love the person that you so evidently have brought out in my best friend. So cheers, cheers to Shara and Tyler. Mm -hmm.